Make no mistake about it, the NFL has a problem when it comes to its connection to gambling houses, gambling policies, and its players. Colts corner Isaiah Rogers, handful of players are expected to be receive a season-long suspension violating the NFL's policy on gambling this week. Outside of Pete Rose, you have not seen similar issues with MLB as of late or the NHL or the NBA. The NFL's rules are pretty simple. One, don't bet on the NFL. Two, don't gamble at your team facility while traveling for a road game or staying at a team hotel. Three, don't have someone bet for you. Four, don't share team inside information. Five, don't enter a sports book during the NFL season. And six, don't play fantasy football. Pretty easy. You thought NFL players would have gotten the message after then Falcons and current Jaguars wide out Calvin Ridley was suspended for the entire 2022 season for betting on NFL games during a five-game stretch when he was away from the Falcons team. As more and more states legalize sports betting, need to put it into perspective. Americans love betting on football. It is the easiest one to understand when it comes to wagering, and because of the nature of the NFL season, bettors feel that they are making educated investments with their money. More than 45.2 million Americans wager on the NFL. More than $100 billion is wagered at licensed in sports books during the NFL season. The question, though, is with sports betting exploding across the country, why does the NFL have this problem with its players abiding by its gambling policy when other leagues do not? After all, the legitimacy of outcomes when it comes to on the field can never be put in doubt. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.